Good evening. Yes, uh, my name is Steve Chan. I'm going to talk about YFT today. Uh, YFT is a social gifting app, and we launched in December of last year. The purpose of this app is for people to be able to pick out gifts from millions of local merchants, pick out a coffee, pick out a dinner, a beer, and send it to anywhere else to a recipient somewhere in the U.S. And the recipient will be able to receive the gift digitally through email or text or SMS. And they go down to the local merchant and show the payment and pick up the gift and go home. So the huge difference between us and many of the other similar gifting apps is that we have a huge selection of merchants, millions. And we're not limited by the size of our warehouse because we don't have one. So I'm going to let Aldo demonstrate the rest of the app. So I'll send a quick gift here to show you how it works. So I'm currently in Palo Alto, and I can filter down gifts by different categories. I'm going to send Steve a cup of coffee. And when the Wi-Fi comes back on, <laughs> there we go. OK, so here you see we have Cuba Cafe, and then a couple of other merchants nearby. I'm going to send Steve a specialty drink at Cuba Cafe. Tells me a little bit about the merchant, uh, how much it costs, uh, a little bit of the description of the gift, select the gift, and I can send it to any one of my Facebook friends, my contact links, etc. I'm going to send it to Steve. Uh, here you go, Steve Chan. Say, great meeting you at SV New Tech. I knew him from before, but. <laughs> so, uh, here it pre populates from my phone's contact list, email, and phone number. I add it to my cart, and then I check out, I pay with a credit card, and I'm done. Steve, on his end, he has four weeks to pick up the gift, and yeah, check out. If he doesn't pick up his gift in four weeks, the money comes back to me. So there's nothing to lose on my end, right? Uh, we're trying to disrupt the plastic gift card industry where you would give someone a plastic gift card and it would stay in their drawer forever, and you don't know whatever happens to it. I'm going to show you the redemption side pretty quickly, and I'll show you our secret sauce. So the reason that we can give a gift to any local merchant is that we have a unique partnership with MasterCard that allows us to generate one-time use digital credit cards, and that's how we power our redemption at Yifty. So that means that a Yifty gift, when you go pick it up, you receive you have this credit card, which is how you go and pick it up. So you, Steve goes in and says, hey, I have a coffee, orders this coffee, and then just presents this to the cashier. They type it in like a normal credit card when the max right doesn't swipe, and that's it. The merchant gets paid instantaneously via MasterCard. Steve gets his gift. All is good. Steve. So thanks for the demo. So when we build EFT, we build it like an enterprise and class engine that we actually build it as a platform because our vision is not just to, for us to build an app. Our vision is to empower everyone who wants to put gifting on the app or on the website as a monetization method. So we have an API that you can put on your mobile app or put on your web browser and put it you can put a gift button on your user interface so that when your user clicks on the that button, we will launch and take care of the entire gifting process from front to back, the entire PCI and everything else taking back, and then give you a cut of the profit. So this is a ref share model for you to monetize your app in one, in another way, in addition to all the other ways you already have. And it's called Gift Up, and we've successfully integrated with some of the other apps and mobile apps out there. So you can imagine there's many examples that you can uh, integrate gifting in. So for dating sites, they currently sell virtual gifts, and people give each other virtual gifts. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to send, hey, here's a cup of coffee, do you want to meet me? <laughs> or networking more professional apps like Bisabo. Uh, they could integrate gifting, and you can follow up on a network that you met, uh, a person that you met at, at an event, and say, hey, it was great meeting you. Uh, let's keep talking. Let's keep on, see what other potential partnerships we can figure out. Um, we've seen 
Uh, we've done deals with corporations that do corporate rewards programs to we're working with game developers that they can use it to engage their users. So let's say one of your users reached level 10. Wouldn't it be cool to say, here, you won a beer for reaching level 10? So that's our vision for Yifty is really gift enabling any website or app uh, so that they can offer gifts in within their product. Uh, any inquiries, please reach out to us, talk to us, or send us an email at developers at EFT .com. Cool. Thank you. Questions for EFT? Could you explain a little bit more about the relationship you described with MasterCard? Just, just a little bit more about how the dynamics that work, or are you just really like any other merchant factors or something a little more going on? No, so uh, we have access to an internal API that MasterCard has. Uh, that's called in control, which allows us to put certain controls in in credit cards. That's why we can issue a credit card that's one time use, that's an expiration date, and it's actually tied to a specific location. So if you would be going, you have a gift at Coupa Cafe and you use it at Pete's Coffee or Starbucks, then it will not work. So it's a unique partnership within some internal technology that MasterCard has. And uh, the API that we're using to integrate with the MSR, as I know, uh, we're the only one using it. How does your business model work? So I don't know if you saw, I, I didn't highlight it, but we, we make a cut, a transaction fee, out of each gift that gets sent. Uh, we add a convenience fee on top of the gift. So if I send you a cup of coffee, a $5 cup of coffee, the gift will, we charge the gift giver $6, something and that's what we make around a dollar per gift so yeah yeah it's a, uh, the gift was for 450 and I think it said convenience fee included was 598 or 598 something. yeah something so like we make a dollar and then the rest goes to pay the credit card processing fees so our payment gateway in the back uh, yeah I really like that the merchant doesn't get charged have a cut out of their profit on this um, but I'm interested as merchants would come on board and the MasterCard question again is, uh, is it possible for MasterCard to take a direct uh, communication to their merchants to essentially present this as, an, as another way for them to take, uh, take it? Yes, okay. definitely. So that's exactly what we're working on, uh, you know, working with MasterCard to really just branch it out to all the merchants. Um, right now, so a little bit on our, on our merchant side, I showed you the consumer side. For merchants, it's free, no cost, no monthly fees. There's no discounting, it's not a daily deal. You sell $5 for $5 worth of product, the person comes in like if it was another credit card customer. Yeah, there is a company named uh, GameSpan. In Foster City, they are doing monetization as a service for virtual good. So you guys, the monetization for the physical good and uh, in the, down the road you guys also plan to go in virtual? We just talked about that internally today about that. Thank you. <laughs> Does the recipient of the gift needs to have the, ha the app on their uh, phone or is it just by email? Or? They can use the app obviously but if they have a mobile web browser they'll work too. Okay. So they don't need to have a YIFT account. There's, we want them to go get the gift. It's not, there's no barriers. We, Try to reduce the friction on the recipient side. Yeah, it looks like you have a couple manual entry steps, though. So the the, the, the retailer has to enter the, the card number manually. Is that something you see getting rid of? And also, does the user have to? Yes, uh, we're looking at the other, uh, like contact list, uh, NFC, uh, QR code. Those things are all in our roadmap to do. But it's just not many. Yes. So it, it depends on the merchant side, depends on merchant adoption of these terminals. Uh, but we're definitely looking to integrate with PayPass and all those NFC tap and pay mechanisms. And on the consumer side, uh, once you enter your credit card, you have an option to save it, not have to enter it again. And you know, we try to reduce the number of manual entry steps, trying to make it as simple and as on the go as you can. So as for the PCI compliance that you mentioned, do you rely on MasterCard? to do that or you do it yourself? We have to do work on our own. Um, I mean, the PCI application is pretty comprehensive and complicated, and so it has to be watertight through the entire process. So we have to do our part, whilst the card will do their part. Time for one more. Other questions? 
How do you prevent fraud? Um, by working really late in the evening. Okay. Um, <laughs> and you're right. Uh, every, there are new ideas of how to fraud us every day, and we have to cope with it okay. really quickly. But some of the other things that are coming up on the horizon these days, for example, uh, using big data as a way to analyze every transaction and classify fraud versus not, those things we are looking very closely at, those technologies as well. Cool. Thank you.